Our third issue takes a look at one of the world's first TV chefs, Mrs Dione Lucas. Now Dione isn't a household name like Curtis Stone or Jamie Oliver, but her influence on cooking in America, Australia and Britain was as big as her personality. Our feature writer, Gillian Adams, has a long history studying the life of Dione. She shares her insights with us on the compelling career of this remarkable woman. From the State Library of Victoria to the hallowed halls of Harvard University, we see how Dione's name spread far and wide before becoming a lost celebrity. And guest chef, Phil Varkos, himself no stranger to the television limelight, takes the challenge of recreating a recipe from Dione's work, the Roulage Leontine. So who was Dione Lucas? And why was she such a huge influence on cooking and television? And it might interest you to know that it's one of the earliest recipes recorded in print. I have an old French cookbook that was printed in early 1600, and it has this recipe in it. Well, I found a lift-out supplement from the Women's Weekly. I, I couldn't date it, but I knew that it was sometime in the late 50s, early 60s. And it had a picture of a woman in a kind of German-looking outfit, and she was preparing food and sort of looking up with this quite wry smile on her face. And the booklet was all about French Cordon Bleu cooking. And, you know, I thought we just ate lamb chops and peas and mashed potatoes in the 1950s. What's What's this um, Cordon Bleu cooking here in Australia? And then I did what everyone does. I did a bit of a Google search and um, I found out sort of almost instantly that she predated Julia Child as a television cook and, and you know, just these amazing little snippets of information about her. And I, I was really astounded that someone who'd beaten Julia Child to television cooking and been quite famous in her time was just virtually unknown. Australians loved him in the MasterChef kitchen. Now Phil Varkos takes tablet to table through his restaurant Spitico in Bayside, Melbourne. People are starting to sort of entertain a lot more at home rather than going out. I think like cooking at home is a, is a way for, for people to sort of get adventurous and artistic and creative with food. The only time cooking shows were more about, I guess, to be sexist, satisfying the husband's needs after work, you know, like you're sort of meat and three veg meals and, you know, your fancy like cakes and so on for like dinner parties. I think cooking now has become more about practicality. I think um, cooking shows do glam up what being a chef and, 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 and cooking is. Um, you know, I mean, obviously being on MasterChef, it was like a really great experience and I loved it and it was fun and adventures and, you know, challenges and all that kind of thing. But when it comes down to the bottom line, when you're sort of opening your own restaurant, it's a lot more sort of, you know, the hard work and, you know, the oven burns and the stress and the pressure of getting food out on time. So, look, it is fun. I do love it and, I, you know, I wouldn't want to do anything else, but it's not as easy as it looks. Well yeah, done. Thanks. <laughs> Come again. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. For more information, go to tablettotable.net and may good times prevail.